Here we have a Sunny Roo solar inverter and you can see up on the screen here it's coming up with AL07. Now AL07 is an alarm code, alarm, AL stands for alarm and the 07 is a fault code. Now AL07 uh, means the inverter is trying to tell us that if detecting that input B into the inverter uh, is under voltage and so it's just letting you know that there's a potential problem there. Now in this case uh, I'd expect there to be uh, no input into input B of the inverter because we don't have any any solar connected to it. We have a look down at the bottom of the inverter. You see here we've got string A which is input A. We've got two inputs there, a positive and negative there and a positive and negative here and then we have string B positive and negative there. Now you see obviously string B doesn't actually have anything plugged into it here so it is always going to be under voltage. The, uh, it's never going to reach the correct voltage because there's nothing plugged into it. And so an inverter which only had uh, power, uh, solar panels plugged into input A would always come up with this fault on a Sunny Roo inverter. Now if you did actually have panels connected into input uh, input B of your inverter, the string B, and you are getting this AL07 issue, then you are going to need to get an accredited solar electrician to come and have a look at what's going on because it, it could be a problem with the solar inverter, it's not reading the, uh, the power coming in from the solar panels correctly, or it could be a problem with the solar panels or the cabling or the circuit breaks or something like that in between the inverter and the solar panels on that input. So uh, look, if you, if you have a look at the screen, it does have the green light on constant, which does tell us that the actual inverter is working uh, correctly. It's still actually producing power, um, but that's out of input one. It's not input, input one or input A. It's not doing anything out of input two. If we have a look through here. These uh, Sunny Room inverters have the, the A and B reading. So A is input A, B is input B. And so we see, Input A is 1.3 amps at the moment, and let's see if we can get something else on here. So it's telling us there B input is zero kilowatts, so B input is doing nothing at all at the moment. Let's see if we can get something else on here. Now oh, there we go, 0.23 kilowatts on input A at the moment. So yeah, uh, so input A is definitely working, but input B is doing nothing, which, as I said, is what we expect at the moment. But if your inverter did have panels connected into input B and it was coming up with this AL07 error, then you need to talk to a local solar accredited electrician. If you're in Brisbane or the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, uh, Gold Coast Solar can certainly help. If you're somewhere else, I'd recommend trying to uh, Google a local solar expert and uh, get them to come and have a look at your system and work out what's going on. Thanks very much for watching this video.